Frank Allo Lobbyondo born May 12, 1946, is an American politician who has been the U.S. Representative for New Jersey's 2nd Congressional District since 1995. He is a member of the Republican Party. The district is at the southern tip of New Jersey, and is the largest congressional district by area in the state. It includes all of Atlantic, Cape May, Cumberland and Salem counties and parts of Camden, Gloucester, Burlington, and Ocean counties. In November 2017, Lobbyondo announced that he would retire from Congress at the end of his current term, and not seek re-election in 2018. Early life, education, and business career Born in Bridgeton, New Jersey, Lobbyondo attended Georgetown Preparatory School, and received a BA in Business Administration from St. Joseph's University in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He worked for 26 years in a family-owned trucking company. Early political career Lobbyondo served on the Cumberland County Board of Chosen Freeholders from 1985 to 1987. In 1987, he was elected to NJ's first legislative district in the lower chamber of the New Jersey General Assembly and served from 1988 to 1994. He won re-election in 1989, 1991, and 1993. Equals equals U.S. House of Representatives equals equals. Topic elections in 1992, Lobbyondo ran for the U.S. House of Representatives, but was defeated by incumbent Democrat William Hughes by a wide margin. When Hughes declined to run for re-election in 1994, Lobbyondo ran again and was elected to the House. He was a member of the Republican freshman class elected in the 1994 midterm election and was part of Speaker Newt Gingrich's contract with America. Since then, he has won every re-election bid with at least 59% of the vote even though he represents a district that is marginally Democratic on paper. In 2012, his district gave President Barack Obama 54% of the vote. In 2016 the district gave President Donald J. Trump a five-point victory over Democrat Hillary Clinton. 2014 Lobbyondo ran for re-election to the U.S. House in 2014. He won the Republican nomination in the primary election on June 3, 2014. He faced Democrat William J. Hughes in the general election. He was endorsed by Governor Chris Christie, the Laborers International Union of North America, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the New Jersey State Building and Construction Trades Council, and the New Jersey State Fraternal Order of Police. 2016 Lobbyondo was re-elected to the U.S. House in 2016. He did not have a challenger in the Republican primary and was victorious over Democrat David Cole in the general election. Topic: Committee assignments. Committee on Armed Services. Subcommittee on Tactical Air and Land Forces. Subcommittee on Readiness. Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure Subcommittee on Aviation Chairman. Subcommittee on Coast Guard and Maritime Transportation Subcommittee on Highways and Transit Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence Caucus memberships Congressional Arts Caucus Topic: Embezzlement by campaign treasurer On March 4, 2011, Andrew J. McCrossan, Jr., who served as treasurer of Lobbyondo's Congressional Campaign Committee from 1995 until August 2010, pleaded guilty in federal district court to charges of embezzling more than $458,000 from campaign accounts over a 15-year period. 
The charges included one count of wire fraud and one count of converting funds contributed to a federal candidate. Lobbyondo's campaign attorney called this, "...an abuse of the trust placed in him by the campaign." McCrossan was sentenced 30 months in prison. Electoral history Political positions Lobbyondo is a member of the moderate Republican Main Street Partnership. His record on several issues, particularly the environment and labor union votes, fits a moderate Republican. In 2005, National Journal ranked him as the most liberal Republican representative in New Jersey and more liberal than most of New York's Republican congressional representatives. Americans for Democratic Action in 2005 placed him in a higher liberal quotient than most of the Republican representatives in those two states. Lobbyondo was ranked as the 13th most bipartisan member of the U.S. House of Representatives during the 114th United States Congress and the most bipartisan member of the U.S. House of Representatives from New Jersey in the bipartisan index created by the Luger Center and the McCourt School of Public Policy that ranks members of the United States Congress by their degree of bipartisanship by measuring the frequency each member's bills attract co-sponsors from the opposite party and each member's co-sponsorship of bills by members of the opposite party. Abortion <inaudible> 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 Lobbyondo opposes taxpayer-funded abortion. He consistently votes against federal funding for abortion whenever it comes to a vote. Cannabis Lobbyondo has a B rating from NORML for his voting record regarding cannabis-related matters. He has supported the Veterans Equal Access Amendment, which provides veterans information on accessing medical marijuana based on state law. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump He endorsed Chris Christie in the Republican primary. In the general election he supported the GOP ticket but rescinded his support for Republican nominee Donald Trump in October 2016 after the Donald Trump and Billy Bush recording surfaced, but ultimately ended up voting for him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> economy He voted against the $15 billion bailout for GM and Chrysler in 2008. As well as the 2008 Troubled Asset Relief Program. In early 2008, he voted against the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009. In December 2017, he voted against the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017. Topic: Environment and Energy. Lobbyondo has been endorsed by various environmental groups, including the League of Conservation Voters. An advocate for renewable energies, especially nuclear power, he has consistently opposed offshore drilling off the coast of New Jersey, sponsoring legislation in each Congress during the past decade. Topic. Foreign policy Considered a defense hawk in Congress, Lobbyondo is a member of the House Armed Services Committee and joined in the bipartisan support of the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. In 2013 Lobbyondo opposed Obama's request for congressional authorization to use force against the Assad regime in Syria. Gambling 
In 2012, Lobbyondo, along with Democratic Congressman Frank Pallone, introduced legislation allowing states to legalize sports betting, then only allowed in four states, arguing it would strengthen Atlantic City as a venue for tourist dollars. <laughs> Healthcare He is in favor of repealing the Affordable Care Act Obamacare, and voted in favor of the resolution that began the process of repealing Obamacare in January 2017. In 2013, he said that Obamacare was too deeply flawed to implement and ultimately unworkable. <laughs> LGBT rights Lobbyondo was endorsed by Garden State Equality in his 2016 election and a co-sponsor of the Federal Employment Non-Discrimination Act that would bar discrimination against LGBT individuals in the workplace. In 2011, Lobbyondo appeared in an It Gets Better Project video, part of a YouTube campaign reaching out to young gay teens who have been bullied and is a co-sponsor of the Safe Schools Improvement Act to respond to bullying of LGBT students in schools. <laughs> Tax reform Lobbyondo voted no on the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017. He opposed the bill due to the $10,000 cap on deductions that he described as being detrimental in my high tax state of New Jersey. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Term limits. In 1994, Lobbyondo pledged to only serve 6 terms in Congress. In 2004 he announced that he would break his term limits pledge and allow the voters to decide. He is retiring after 12 terms. Veterans <inaudible> 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 Lobbyondo has made improving VA services in South Jersey a top priority while in Congress, including new clinics in Northfield, Vineland and Cape May Court House to open in late 2018. He has introduced legislation, the Veterans Health ID Act to allow veterans receive an ID card that allows them care at VA expense at any non-VA medical facility.